My dream really began and developed when my mother brought home that first LP by Don Williams. I remember her ripping the cellophane off of it, putting it on the turntable. And as we danced through that whole record, one song on that record made me stop. And I looked at my mother that day and said, one day, Mom, I'm going to have a record of my music to give to you. I grew up in Fort Worth just a country boy on Mary's Creek and getting in trouble. Rolling Hills and the country life is where I grew up. I was just about in anything and everything, from choir, I was a cheerleader, I was gymnastics, I was rodeo. But life happened and, and jobs happened, military service happened. Things took me away from that dream. What I really am is the epitome of a dream put on a shelf collecting dust. I was in college, struggling, trying to raise a daughter, and. It was the military that gave me the ability to pay for the things that she needed. My grandfather was in the merchant marines before they became the marines and the navy split. Then my father was navy, I was in the navy. It was important to me to follow that heritage of my forefathers, if you will. I started working at nursing homes as an aide and moved up to hospitals and began working as a nurse tech and truly fell in love with the passion of nursing and helping others. But with a single dad back then um, with three kids, it just wasn't enough. So that's when I got involved in nuclear power. I was able to work at the hospital for a few months, go work at the power plant for a month, come back to the hospital for three months, go back to the plant for a month. That led into completely transitioning from nursing into nuclear power. It started then taking me away from my hometown. We began traveling in a motorhome from plant to plant. A year ago, I happened to fall into a situation with a community of people that love helping dreams come true, and I became one of those dreams that they've taken off the shelf and dusted it off. And now we have an opportunity because of one song I wrote we had an opportunity to come down and record in Nashville, and we have a record now. While doing that, I was able to get five other songs of mine produced. And that started, I think, the ball rolling on this journey. We then built a Kickstarter project to help fund the rest of the record. In that first four or five days, we were funded by 200%. We weren't getting as much awareness as we wanted, so because we had the motor home already, I told them, I can hit the road. We can take these songs across the country and see if people like it. So we drew a line on the map and said, if you're within driving distance of this line and you can get 20 or more friends with a donating heart to come out and enjoy the music and listen to the music, and if they like it, tip us. That's all we need is fuel to get to the next show. And the only point really is to go from town to town to raise awareness of what we're doing. This is a dream that has a lot of dust on it, so it needed a lot of shaking. So across the country, we started to go. People started hearing the music, hearing the story behind the song. We were able to complete 12,000 miles. We did 29 shows in 29 cities in nine weeks. The transition from nursing to nuclear power to music, uh, it seems as though it's been a directed path. To trade in a 2,000 pound toolbox for a guitar is pretty special. My family's always supported music. No matter what my dream has been, it's been me chasing the dream that they support. The self-talk and the self-doubt that we put ourselves in a box limits our dreams daily. I always felt that I was the only one going through whatever it was I was going through. So I think through music and through lyrics of songs, it makes a connection to people that they can find hope, they can find a connection, they're not alone. Our six kids have turned into nine grandbabies, and what I hope that they truly learn from my experience is to truly chase that dream, regardless of what it is. Chase it with all you have. Because of the help of others and through the collaboration with others, all things are possible. I could never get anything done when I tried to do it myself. It's through understanding and finally coming to the conclusion that the good Lord is running the show, not me. And following his direction, I think, is, is really 
a way to help other people. And when they see what's happening to me and how I got to this show, know that everything and anything is possible for them too. I'm Donovan Lee Carpenter, Nashville recording artist.